Hey everyone, finished watching the next episode of Beetleborg's Pet Problems. The Hillhurst monsters are throwing a birthday party for Wolfie. Flabber got him a pet. It comes in a cage with an instruction book. Its name is Scary Harry, and you shouldn't let it out of the cage without a leash. Wolfie, though, has already unlocked the cage. Scary Harry proceeds to run around and chase the monsters. It's a short, purplish-blue furry thing with no discernible features aside from its big, fang-filled mouth. The kids are in the house and slip away from Harry. They try to figure out what to do and see Nana walking some dogs. The Magnivores are spying and wonder why people like pets so much. This gives them an idea. They'll kidnap pets and hold them for ransom. They bring a new monster out of the comics and have it steal the dogs Nana was walking. The kids come across the monster Mucant and try to take the dogs back. The Magnivores jump in to distract them. While the kids deal with the Magnivores, Mucant escapes. The kids track the bad guys down to a warehouse, but it's guarded by Mucant. Back at Hillhurst, Flabber lassos Scary Harry and teleports him away. He doesn't know where he's going to be teleported to. Scary Harry happens to teleport right to the same warehouse the Beetleborgs are in. It attacks the Magnivores. The Beetleborgs are able to defeat Mucant, and Harry follows the other Magnivores back to the crypt. It chases them around, but Vexor likes it. The kids thank Flabber for sending Harry to help them, but he responds that he didn't know where Harry would go. This is a great silly episode. Most of the focus is on the Hillhurst monsters, which is good. Scary Harry is the thing that stands out the most here, even over Mucant. Ironic, since Mucant got an action figure, but Harry never did. Scary Harry has a cute design, and the way his mouth moves reminds me of a Muppet. He wouldn't look the least out of place on an episode of The Muppet Show. Kim Delgado, who played Roland's father, isn't in the opening credits anymore. I don't really know why he left the show. It's too bad. I really liked him. He had a cool voice and had some real talent for comedy. He never really got a super big part in the show ever, but he was a familiar face. As much as I like this one, there's not a whole lot to discuss, so that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.